Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. Let's focus on the denominator part only over here. And I have copied it down right up here. And let's go ahead and find the factors. Let's look at the first two terms. We can see that x squared is in common, so we can factor x squared outside. So we are left with x minus 1 in the parentheses. And as for these last two terms, we can see that plus 1 is in common. So we are left with x minus 1. And as you can see that we have x minus 1, x minus 1 in common. We can factor that one out and I can write x minus 1 times x square plus 1. So that means this denominator could be factored out to x minus 1 times x square plus 1. And here you can see that I rewrote this whole rational expression right up here in a nicer way with the factored denominators. Now let's start working on the partial fraction decomposition. As we can see at the denominator, this first factor is indeed linear. And as far as the second factor is concerned, it is irreducible quadratic factor. That means it cannot be factored out. So let's go ahead and get started with the partial fraction decomposition. Since we have a two factors, we're going to have a two fractions, all right, separated by plus sign. The first one is going to be x minus 1, and the second one is going to be x squared plus 1. And as far as the numerators are concerned for the first fraction, it is going to be a constant a for first linear factor. And for this quadratic factor, this is going to become b times x plus c. And now our task is to find the values of constants a, b, and C. Now let's focus on once again on the denominator part right up here on the left hand side. Whatever we see, we are going to multiply it across the board with each and every fra a fraction. Okay, the first one is going to be x minus 1 times x squared plus 1. Let's multiply it out on the right hand side x minus 1, x squared plus 1. And finally, with this last fraction as well. All right. And as we can see that this, this x minus 1 cancels out with this x minus 1. And this x squared plus 1 is gone with this x squared plus 1. So we only ended up with 3x squared minus 5x plus 4 on the left hand side equals to on the right hand side this x minus 1 is gone with this x minus 1 so we ended up with a times x square plus 1 and then we can see that this x square plus 1 is gone with this x square plus 1 so we are left with b x plus c times x minus 1 and I am going to call this as an equation number 1. And now here is our quick trick. Look for linear factors in the denominator. Let's look at the denominator on the left hand side. We can see there's only one linear factor which is x minus 1. I am going to copy it down right up here and I am going to set it equal to 0. So that means x is going to be equal to 1. And now I have wrote down put x equal to 1 whatever value we got 
in this equation number one that means wherever we see x we are going to replace it by positive one let's do that one on the left hand side that is going to become three times one square minus five times one plus four equals to on the right hand side a times this is going to become one square plus one and let's look at this part the next one here we see x if i replace it by one one minus one is going to give us zero zero time this whole term is going to become zero so therefore i am going to write down zero right up here let's go ahead and simplify furthermore so this is become three times one square is same as three minus five times one is five plus four equal to a times one square is one plus one let's simplify furthermore that is going to give us two equals to 2a that gives us a equals to one value and now we still need to find the value of b and c for that reason we are going to take some extra steps so let's look at this equation number one we are going to rewrite this thing a little bit differently first of all the left hand side is gonna stay same 3x square minus 5x plus 4 on the left hand side equals to let's distribute a and that is going to give us a x square plus 1 a and then we are going to use a foil method let's multiply bx time these things so that's going to become plus bx square minus bx and then plus cx and finally minus 1c and let's simplify let's combine the like terms over here on the right hand side i'm going to combine x squared so a, i can write a plus b times x squared all right and as far as x's are concerned i can write plus minus b plus c time x and finally for the constants one a minus c and on the left hand side we're gonna keep it the same these 3x square minus 5x plus 4 now we are going to equate or sometimes we call it compare the coefficients on both sides of this equation so first let's look at the x square part we can see the coefficient of x square on the left hand side is 3 equals to we're going to equate it on the right hand side the coefficient of x square is a plus b and for x variable on the left hand side we can see the coefficient of x is negative 5 equals to on the right hand side the coefficient of x is negative b plus c and finally for the constant part on the left hand side we got a 4 we are going to equate it equal to on the right hand side constant is a minus c now let's look at this constant part we know the value of a is 1 we can easily find the value of c by just replacing a by 1 so 4 equal to a is 1 minus c that is going to give us c equal to negative 3 value and now in x square part let's find out the value of b by replacing a by 1 so 3 equals to 1 plus b that means 
b is going to be equal to 2. So thus our a value turns out to be 1, b is 2, and c is negative 3. So therefore in our partial fraction decomposition, wherever I see a, I'm going to replace it by 1, b by 2, and c by negative 3. And here is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.